Howdy, 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 my darling Leo. How you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today, Leo, we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading. All right, for July 2022. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Leo, all right, let me know in the comments below how these tarot cards resonate with you today, as well as give this video a like and join the family. Hit the subscribe button, darling, all right? It's completely free to do, and it's the best way to support me, darling, for free, all right? So I would appreciate it. So now, Leo, I will say, darling, um, not only have I done your monthly tarot reading for July, so be sure to check that out i'll leave a link somewhere around the top of the corner um but as well darling be sure to when you're receiving general tarot readings on youtube or wherever leo that you are consuming more than just your zodiac sign right your sun sign uh be sure to check out your sun moon rising and venus as well to get the you know catering the energy to your charm so let's just get right into this here for today leo let's see your what cards are coming out now darling i'm going to be doing three rows for you leo your first row is going to be covering your financial and career situation here all right and then in regards to your second row, we're going to be going into your social life, a platonic relationship, romantic, uh, who you are just, I mean, just darling, your social life, honey, hello. Uh, and then Leo in your third row is just some general messages that you all need to be hearing at this current point in time. All right, Leo. So how's that sound? How are you doing, by the way, Leo? <clears throat> I don't know why. The moment I connected to your energy during the pre-shuffle, I just felt immediately zen. Immediately zen here. All right. Maybe I'm going to be getting uh, closer friends with the Leo because I have this theory cups pulled out for you. Uh, but anyways, here, Leo, we have the theory cups in the back of the deck for you here. Celebration, victory here. Y'all going to be receiving some pretty positive news this week here, uh, Leo. I feel like this is like a sense of like anticipation. You've been waiting for this. It could be like some big news, right? Something big, right? Getting accepted into a college or news of a job, perhaps. Or it could be something even what is perceived as little but is big to you, where it's just like... Um, getting being able to communicate with someone more or success just in your own personal life of where you're just like oh hey like i'm able to like, like you're realizing that you're feeling lighter right it's easier to feel happy it's easier to feel emotions for some of you right um but uh yeah very positive this three cups here is going to be the accompanying all three of these rows it's what it's associated with rather so now let's take a look uh girl if i'm messing this up leo honey now darling <laughs> leo let's take a look in regards to your career and financial situation y'all have the fabulous darling the fabulous yes you do leo you have the seven of swords the wheel of fortune with the six of wands here now i say it's fabulous because of the six of wands six of wands is my favorite tarot card i always make it a point to say it <laughs> like my regulars are probably tired of it but they already know what's coming when they see that you're like oh felk is about to say it um but i feel like times are changing for you public recognition with that six of wands the six of wands i mean this is literally like like uh elevated in some ways if we're going to just translate the three of cups as a message of celebration and not like the social aspect but it's like the elevated because it's like public recognition i call it my fame and fortune card here uh leo so really positive news seems to be uh building up this week for you wheel of fortune here uh very nice changing of tides here because i feel like with the seven of swords here this leads me to believe of where feelings are a little bit overwhelmed in your career currently feel over what feelings of being overwhelmed and like hoping that things are going to be working out maybe you are fearful of losing your job fearful of um paying certain bills or something like that i feel as if overall like any type of anxieties are going to be rectifying themselves i get like this sense for some of you guys that you are just like barely keeping your head above water currently leo in a sense of where it's just like you just are wanting to catch a break because i feel like if things were just to be going smoothly because i'm being shown a glassy ocean if you don't know what it what that is like it's like an ocean that has like no wind so the water is completely glassy that might be a more official word for it but i could just first thing come to mind is glassy ocean and so it's like if things were just going smoothly for you leo then like i feel like you would be okay and with that wheel of fortune you know it can be either turning in your favor or against you leo and i feel as if it's for a while it probably was just turning against you right no you don't need to take a personal though you know it's life it happens to everybody honey it's nothing wrong with you all right don't internalize it but now it's starting to turn back into your favor again you're going to be your hard work is going to be getting recognized right that's really what it is is this sense of recognition all right so nothing but positive news in regards to your career in the coming days now let's take a look at your social life here 
Hierophant, Five of Swords with the Hermit energy. <laughs> okay, Leo. This is where the trouble in paradise is, darling. I feel as if you guys were dealing... Well, let's take a look here. Mm -mm. King of Cups. Okay. So y'all were dealing with a situation where I feel like some of you guys might have been having some frustrations with someone in your life that just hasn't been showing more emotion. It's like you can sense emotion that the, like you can sense that they have certain feelings, but they won't ever express it. And so it's like driving you crazy. And I feel like that's like the main frustration or problem that was going on with that situation where it's just like it just feels as if like so many masks you might like the word inauthentic comes to mind as well and so it's just like from that sense of that frustration it just like puts you in this hole where it's just like some of you for a while leo you're just just tired of social relationships in general this is probably the time i always like to say it's just like why can't people be just normal that's why i feel like is your energy currently it's just like why can't people just be normal velka right why can't people just ex emotionally express themselves rather than keeping it all in, right? Why can't people just be normal, honey? All right, but I do feel as if it's like a come in, like, we'll figure it out, all right? I feel like it's nothing, like, I don't get closures here. And speaking of that, darling, Leo, we have here the Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords with the Strength Energy here. And so right now you're feeling pretty frustrated or feeling pretty powerless in your situation currently, probably because you guys, Leo, are consuming this tarot reading while you're dealing with the remnants of the Wheel of Fortune still turning against you where it's just like, it's just like everyone and everything is trying you currently you feel powerless here but your opportunity for going forward and making a lot of making leaps and bounds towards your destination right whatever your destination is for you Leo, it's going to be happening here. You're going to be seeing progression this week. All right. Keep your head above water currently. I feel as if for you guys, because I'm seeing this theme of swords energy, darling. All right. Your relationships are going to be what's challenging you this week, right? Because again, considering the fact that the three of cups energy is the back of the deck and theme of the energy, right? And so relationships are going to be the biggest challenge for you this week, Leo. Not allowing relationships to distract you from what it is that you want to accomplish just because you're having some some trouble in paradise with certain people doesn't mean that it requires all of your attention all right sometimes time is the best healer all right you don't need like release this sense of control some of you leos might have or just this desire to control the situation more and just if it's meant to be honey it will be all right if it's meant to be it'll be all right <laughs> but your challenge here is instead of just disconnecting from the relationships or you know just seeing the certain relationships in such a black and white way see it as like a challenge for your own personal development now i know that's very like woo woo like kind of just like higher elevated level talking that everyone preaches but no one really necessarily practices but i feel like in this sense like that's why again like i'm not getting closure here with your especially with your social life i feel like it's just like frustrations but it's through these frustrations that it teaches you something right because i know that because of that hierophant you're getting taught something so anyways, so now let's start clarifying your rows now, uh, Leo. Just as a reminder, we're going to be getting into your career as well as your financial uh, now. And their cards are the Seven of Swords, Six of Wands with that Wheel of Fortune. So coming in is the Emperor, Queen of Cups with the Tower Energy here. And then we have the Chariot in the back of the deck. All right. So that makes sense because I knew that was the missing piece here uh, for you, Leo, because I was just like, all right, the Wheel of Fortune is starting to turn into your favor. But like it just kind of came off with just with those three cards, Leo, where it's just like, OK, this is coming in out of like seemingly nowhere, honey. Like what caused for this change here? And it's due to tower energy y'all are going to be getting a reminder like some of you guys, because you had to deal with um personal life distresses recently leo it kind of made you lose sight a little bit of what it is that you wanted to focus in on so you're needing that tower moment now this is where it's going to be like that challenge right where it's just like okay like tower moment social life you instead of just like leaving it to crumble 
you figure out where you can like pick up the pieces and mend it right again it's not that sense of closure it's just like a tower moment that was necessary for your personal relationship for whatever the reason is darling right but then you get this sense of empowerment here emperor energy where it's like you're able to handle manage that but from an empowered place and where you're not self-sacrificing right it's like now you're having a better dynamic with your work work pers personal work life like what is that sent what am i trying to say it's just like that work-life balance right or it's just like just because something's going off in your social life doesn't mean that your career and financial situation also needs to suffer <sighs> all right now Let's take a look in regards to your social life once again, darling, since that seems to be like the main player here, uh, Leo. Uh, let's take a look at these clarifiers. Just as a reminder, it's the Hermit Energy, Five of Swords, Hierophant, and King of Cups. We got the Nine of Swords, Five of Wands, honey. That's the obstacle with the Five of Cups. I mean, yes, that's what it is. Uh, so Leo, y'all have so much drama in your life and y'all don't even like drama. You don't even ask for that. It just like finds you, huh? It just finds you. Back of the deck energy is the justice energy. This is really important actually to acknowledge uh, with this here. All right. This is literally just a message of just like, darling, Leo, things are going to be working out in your favor. You have the scales of justice uh, on your side here. Five of cups, five of wands here. All right. With that nine of swords, it's like you're having anxiety over the conflict. It was just like what you could have done differently. What, you know, whatever you're reflect, like you're thinking too much on it, darling. Whatever happened, happened. Just know that it's going to be working out in your favor yeah you could have you could you have done something different perhaps right you know it's going to be very personal for, i mean some of y'all honey like some of y'all like it's unfixable right and it was just bound to happen but it like whatever's going to happen you can't change it now so what is the point in being so anxious about it all right let the pieces fall where they may all right balance will find its way back into that relationship all right balance will find its way back into that relationship <clears throat> but it's not from you you doing a disservice to yourself all right let me clarify that so now leo let's take a look at your general messages here clarifying them reminder it's the eight of swords with the ace as well uh and then the strength card coming in here we're pulling the eight of wands with the four of wands honey and then the sun card this is where that fiery energy is honey yes so this is why i'm like so optimistic for you leo now i'm not going to sugarcoat this for you darling you do have a lot going on in your life currently all right yeah i mean i don't need to sugarcoat it leo because this is your life that you're currently experiencing darling right but just know like this is where the optimism comes in here you are you're going towards your destination even if it doesn't feel like it there is a lot of movement here remember that you have the back of the deck energy being the chariot and then back of the deck energy here as well is the three of pentacles all right so things are going to be working out very beautifully for you right now it's not going to make sense right now you don't know how you're going to pay those bills or, you know whatever but it like there's nothing but optimism here all right there's nothing but optimism leo and so just do what you can to keep yourself above water remain as positive as you can keep your mindset in check all right so that's the biggest thing uh is to avoid getting out of like avo to avoid getting in that mental spiral is to just you know constantly remind constantly do a vibe check with yourself all right so any like is that sense of like holding yourself accountable to the routine right holding yourself accountable to the routine so that you don't falter even when times are frustrating because thing, good things are definitely coming to head. I gain nothing from saying a positive message like that, right? So I, I always say it's like I'm as blunt as possible because I have nothing to gain and nothing to lose from it. <laughs> All right, here, Leo. So your oracle cards for this week, darling, are your new moon, honey. Your new moon, uh, new moon and Leo shine, honey, shine bright like a diamond. Okay, uh, but yeah, like have have positivity at this time. New moons represents new beginnings, and it's a new beginning in your new moon, the Leo. Right? It's it's your turn for a new beginning. It's your turn for a new beginning, Leo. And I want you to remember that, even if it doesn't feel as if it, it is currently, right? But before the new moon can become the full moon, it has to go through the slow process of slowly lifting the, the curtain, slowly taking away the shadows. But you know that's going to be happening, darling Leo. Oh, girl. <laughs> you know it's going to be happening, Leo. 
because we did pull the sun card for you didn't we I didn't we darling oh some of you are gonna have to watch this reading back more than one time darling because it's this gets deep honey this gets deep all right now leo so girl <laughs> for your animal oracle card we have the walrus coming in here this is what I was just saying. Remaining vigilant about your current situation. Pay attention to the signs and omens. By the way, what we just experienced with this new moon in Leo and all that was a sign. Um, and let them dictate your choices, darling. All right? That walrus. Again, we already unpacked this. This oracle card is more so just reaffirming. It's like your spiritual team, like, letting you know that I was right, essentially. <laughs> half playing half playing but um leah this is the weekly tarot reading that i have for you darling now if this resonated with you be sure to check out my monthly tarot reading because i can guarantee you if you liked this honey you're going to like your monthly again i have it linked somewhere above but if you want to book a private reading with me leo my website's linked down below simply velka dot com darling uh next to my social medias if you'd like to connect with me on a more intimate level darling uh tiktok and instagram are both just simply velka same as here darling but uh i love you so much leo and thank you for the opportunity of allowing me to read for you all right bye darling <laughs>